First, Brianna Smith got answers from a tree expert about how record rainfall across our area is causing issues with falling trees. Brianna. Hey, Tom. Yeah, if you've got big trees like this in your yard or really any trees, you need to be going out and checking them out, checking the ground around them to make sure that these trees are safe so there's not a mess in your yard, on your home, your cars, or hurting others. Two weeks ago, the rain started. Then rain some more and some more until the streets and yards were flooded over. And that saturation can lead to big trees like this one falling on buildings, causing big problems. The thing is, when we get too much rain at any one time, the soil does get super saturated. Brandon Brown, an arborist with Schneider Tree Care, says this weather is a good reminder to take a look around your yard for signs that your trees may not be healthy. Mushrooms that are growing on the tree lets us know there's some amount of dead or dying wood in the tree. We're looking for large dead branches. We're looking for soil heaving and cracking. Dead trees may not be the only reason one would fall. Because tree root systems aren't very deep, it's easy for them to topple over if they're top heavy. So pruning now may be the protection for the future. Selectively removing some of the branches to allow enough wind to blow through it, it has a greater opportunity to withstand any kind of storm that's coming. An arborist can help you make those decisions and get your tree healthy for years to come so that this scene isn't a mess in your yard. At any point in a tree's life, it's more cost effective to maintain it, to make it healthy, than it is to remove and replace it. And Tom, I talked to our Storm Team 7 meteorologist, and they tell me although the ground is really wet right now, it's going to take several dry days to dry this ground out. So there's a threat that could happen over the next couple of days, actually, for these trees to continue to fall. We're live in Spartanburg County for you tonight. Brianna Smith, 7 News. Yeah, thank goodness, Brianna. For a lot of people, that drying process has had a chance to get started today, but I'll bet checking your trees really isn't something a lot of people do until they're on the ground and it's a problem. Absolutely, and that's why they're talking about that cost for that. Can you imagine grounding the stump and getting all of that out of their out of your yard? So they're saying when you see this heavy rain or when you see rain coming in the forecast or big storms, really go out and just kind of look around. Where could those dead limbs fall? Where are there dead limbs in your yard? Just make sure you know what's actually out there. Yeah, an important project for the very near future. Thank you, Brianna.